played a 40, first 40 minutes that you probably were happy with. Take a 2 nothing lead into the into the third, and then that third period happens. How did you see it from your perspective? Um, I can't say I was really happy after the first period. I thought we were just going through the motions. Uh, second period was a little bit better. Giving up two uh, power play goals against uh, one PK. You're not going to win those games. And that's one thing you guys have done so well all year is your special teams. And now you're seeing, like I said, two goals against shorthanded, especially. Would, I mean, what do you do to offset that? Or how, how can you change the mindset? Well, I have to go back to uh, some basic stuff. Um, that's for sure. Um, but you, you need to run your routes uh, fast. And, and when your five on five game is not good, not too often I've seen the special teams being great. Um, it, it goes hand in hand. And, and uh, I thought five on five second period was um, was better, uh, but didn't make the right decisions or we didn't make the, the decisions with enough urgency. And you could see it on the power play and, and the penalty kill. Wow, you inserted a new player in your lineup in uh, Jacob Cedarholm. What did you see from him today? Um, I didn't mind him. Um, young player, first uh, pro game. Um, kept it kept it simple. Um, big body, had a, has a good stick. Made a few uh, good passes. Um, so for first game, I, I didn't mind him. I, I thought he was vocal on the ice too, uh, which uh, that's a skill, and uh, I like that. Um, so uh, overall, I think it was a was a good game for him. After the game, a number of your players were presented with awards. Uh, your captain received the MVP, uh, Mason Appleton, Sammy Niku, Darren Kramer. So a lot of accolades for a lot of your younger players. Uh, just some <coughs> thoughts about the way your team has gone through the 2017-18 season. Well, our goal was to make the playoffs. And that's that, that was uh, the mission this year we had in place, making sure that we keep developing our young players and we grow a winning culture. And uh, in order to do that, we wanted to be in a position to make the playoffs. And that's what we accomplished. That's step one. That's probably uh, um, that's a tough one, making the playoffs in this league and in the NHL. As you guys know, it's, it's a tough task, planning a tough decision. So uh, and it, in order to achieve that, we needed the contribution of different players. Uh, we needed to have the right attitude, the right mindset, uh, and we did. Uh, most of the year, we've been through a little bit of a struggle since Christmas, the injuries and stuff. But uh, calls up, call ups, and um, but overall, we earned that right, and uh, we've played uh, good hockey. And, and um, we needed our young players as well to contribute. And we saw Mason Appleton and Sammy Nico and those guys. Um, having a huge um, part of that success. Sure. There was a poignant moment at the beginning of the game where, prior to the game, where the players stood in a circle and were interlocked, and, and for the moment of silence for the humbled Broncos. What were your thoughts uh, when you were watching that? Well, it, it's been it's been in in the back of our minds since it happened. It's, there's no words uh, to ease their pain or. Or, or just uh, it just hit, it hits home. Um, we've been we've all been there on the bus, riding those buses. Um, how many times we've been lucky? Uh, we don't know. We'll never know, I guess. But uh, just our thoughts and prayers are going to the families. It's uh, it's a tough time for us. It's a tough time for for everybody in the hockey world. And, and all we can do, I guess, is uh, support those families. I felt um, felt the True North organization uh, is doing everything we can to uh, support those people the best way we can, and uh, it's uh, it's a tough moment.